Hello traders, hello everyone and welcome to our new video Surfing the Elliott Waves where I will look some of the most interesting developments for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. So I will cover some of the major markets like Euro, Aussie, Pound, Gold, DAX and also a quick look at CAD Yen. So as you know Euro Dollar has seen a very strong significant reversal um, since last Thursday when the ECB highlighted and made another hike of uh, 50 basis points. They also highlighted that there can be a new high coming in March, but afterwards we will need more data uh, to make sure what the ECB will do in months later. So somehow that was a dovish approach and that's why uh, we have seen a sharp drop here on the euro dollar which later on was also accelerated lower pushed lower by very strong jobs data on friday in the us so it looks like that the us dollar is now finally moving into the uh, recovery mode and the euro dollar is coming to the downside about we have been warning in our past updates now if you recall we were looking here for a five wave movement back into this major resistance around 1.10 level more importantly we have seen a spike to the upside and then a very strong bearish reversal which actually was also confirmed as a bearish signal with a weekly not only daily but only with but also with a weekly close uh, on friday so we have seen a very strong reversal broken this trend and it looks like that's the first lack of this corrective setback that we are tracking so we know that market moves in two stages either that's an impulse and, a cor and then a correction so if you see impulse then expect a corrective pose and when the corrective pose pose is finished expect more upside okay so that's the whole uh, idea here so corrections obviously sometimes can be tricky sometimes can be very simple and for now we will try to stick with the simplest few meaning an ABC drop like a zigzag so you are now uh, potentially hunting as a support here for a wave A, wave B rally and then more weakness so the whole count suggests that we could potentially see even a retracement to 38.2% which is around 105 level so that's the perfect textbook support for the next uh, recovery but for now I think we should rather stay focused on a bearish side here at least in the short term uh, as I said, we are now in a corrective rally wave B. So first resistance is 108, then you have potentially around 109 levels. So this whole zone up here could be very important for the next for the next sell-off. I also have labeled here as a wave C of a potential flat formation, but because, but because I see dollar very strong across the board and really looking impulsive. I just assume that that maybe uh, euro dollar here still could see rather more weakness rather than turning back to the to the upside. But if suddenly let's say we see a five wave recovery rather than a corrective rise towards 109, then of course I will have to respect the wave count, respect the current intraday trends, and then we'll turn bullish. But I also see VIX trading at some very important levels touching uh, the levels from 2022 meaning that there is no fear and whenever market is fine uh, when the crowd psychology is not showing any fear well that's really uh, the important evidence that we should look for that maybe the current cycles are coming to, to an end so I think that maybe the S&P 500 is trying to uh, stop at this at this resistance that we are seeing also keep in mind that Paul yesterday said that uh, they could be actually looking for more hikes if the data will say so if the inflation will still be higher uh, the next data will be in February 14 so this will be very important until then maybe we will see have uh, we will see some very choppy uh, price action in higher degree ranges uh, and when we will get this data then speculators will have more idea what Fed may do next. Okay, um, so for now, I think that this US dollar will stay in this corrective recovery, while the Euro dollar could potentially see more weakness. Looking at the Aussie, um, now Aussie dollar also is turning bearish after a very nice drop out of this wedge. We've been tracking this wedge very closely. It's an impulsive drop. It stopped at the first support here at 68.70, but only kept uh, the uh kept the lows here uh found the lows here for wave a so now you're in wave b rally and meaning that more up downside here could be seen for wave c also rbi hiked the rates and they're looking actually for more hikes in the future meetings so it was a hawkish 
uh, hawkish uh, RBI meeting decision this week. But uh, it looks like that this further weakness on Aussie uh, versus US dollar could be more uh, more like a dollar play. Okay, so if the US yields will keep keep rising, I think, and maybe stocks just stay in a range, or maybe even look to the downside, I think that Aussie will be pulled lower as well. Keep in mind that despite this very hawkish uh, RBI, we haven't seen any aggressive bounce actually here on Aussie at all. Yes, it's one of the strongest this week, but still, still looking at this price action here, this recovery somehow, I'm not really convinced is that this is a new uh, new lag that will take us above 71. Uh, 60 most likely it's a wave b rally um, but overall i mean longer term or midterm i still think that aussie will do better will see much more upside but in my opinion if we're looking for some longer term uh, ideas here um, i think that uh, 660 is much more important and attractive level for potential next bounce uh, now let's take a look also on cable now cable also came to the downside after somehow dovish Bank of England, uh, it was one of the first banks, as you know, that was constantly warning about the recession risks. However, their inflation is still very high. Um, so, in my opinion, sooner or later, pound will recover. Um, but for now, for time being, we are remaining trapped here in a current consolidation phase. We are here testing this resistance 1.25. Uh, very strong resistance here, maybe even upper range of this head and shoulders uh, uh, of this right shoulder of the head and shoulders pattern. So you're now seeing prices in a wave four, meaning after this consolidation, we will see more gains into the wave five. Now wave four can be based on the current developments, can be a flat can be a triangle. Okay, we don't know which will be, but for now it looks like that there is the first support is at 1.2 level, also the 61.8% of wave A. So that's the FIB level that you should look for and observe whenever you are considering a potential triangle. Okay, uh, however, this drop is a very strong one, and if we break this 1.1960, then I think that the flat would make more sense. Then you should be aware of this. Five wave drop rather than just a three wave drop uh, from that highs, but also it will be just a correction. So either we just stay in range for a triangle, or maybe we see a flat. In both cases, it's a wave four consolidation. It's incomplete. Okay, uh, so at some point, I think that this recovery will re will resume. Now let's take a look on gold. Now gold came to the downside quite aggressively. And I adjusted uh, the wave count here a little bit. Firstly, I thought that this wave four will be much uh, smaller, but since we broke this former wave four support, and because the price action through that wave four support was impulsive and not in three waves, that's why we should be aware of more potential weakness, more consolidation phase is coming, in my opinion. So still, I'm looking for a wave four. It could be the same degree, but just a little bit deeper, more complex than I thought. Or it could be still a higher degree of wave 4 here if you look at black letters. That's my alternate scenario. But even this one suggests that we are in a contra trend movement. It's a corrective phase, right? So the first support here that we should uh, pay attention is at 1850 after this wave B rally. So if it's wave B rally, watch out for resistance around 1900, then you have 1920. That's the area where I think that current wave B could stop and then we could see a final sell off. So short term. Now, just a corrective phase, uh, looking at the longer term chart here, uh, I think this one is very clear. It was free wave drop here for uh, from 2020 highs, 2021 lows, then free wave rally back to close to new high, not all time high. So that was a wave B rally. And then you had seen a very strong drop. So that's a clear, very nice flat correction that caused a very strong drop, uh, strong reversal higher. So in my opinion, that's a very nice um, reaction uh, of the bulls, which just confirms that this price action from all time highs is correction that sooner or later we will revisit the highs here. Um, okay, now let's take a look on DAX. So as I said, maybe VIX index, uh, let me look at the VIX index here so that I will make uh, this one a little bit clear for you. Um, <clears throat> so VIX, as you can see here, um, at the bottom, we are testing the lower range. 
of uh, 2022. So it means that we are at extreme of optimism because there is no fear and this VIX is known as a fear index. So always when uh, last year when we retested this lower side of the range we have seen the S&P uh, stopping at the resistance and now again we are not really breaking that resistance higher just yet. We are just trying to retesting it for a few times and I really think that we will not see any major breakout here until we really get this uh, next inflation report on February 14th. So um, I would not be looking aggressively higher from here just yet for wave C or wave 3 uh, because I just realized what this VIX is, is telling us and that actually the dollar is in recovery mode as well. So this could easily cause uh, another lag to the downside. So in perfect scenario here, we would see wave C drop back towards 300 and, uh, um, uh, 3800 so that would be the perfect support for next bounce also if that would unfold i believe that a lot of traders investors would probably try to turn aggressively bearish once more and that's as you know would be the perfect time for actually for bulls to take over that's unfortunately that's how the market works um, also um if suddenly, let's say, market will really just continue straight to the upside from here, from any reason, and then we see a daily close close here above uh, 4,335, daily, maybe even better weekly close, then I really should uh, be aware that we will attack most likely, uh, most likely those swing highs uh, from 2022. So as long as this market is trading below that resistance, I just think that uh, we should be a little bit careful and that uh, maybe there are going to be some dips. Um, so looking at DAX, um, if the S&P 500 is trading at the resistance, then maybe DAX is doing the same. We are seeing prices in a fifth wave, not really breaking down yet because of the support line here that held very well on this uh, current retracement. So maybe there can be a revisit of the highs and then we see a reversal. But overall, it's a bit late for these bulls. Also, this is confirmed by the RSI as well. So I'm thinking that there can be uh, that there can be a major resistance here, and that we are going to see our retracements. Also, my favorite one of the favorite pairs that I'm tracking is Cadian. Why Cadian? Because of Bank of Canada said that they are going to post their interest rate hikes, and uh, as you know, Japanese yen somehow have seen a very strong move to the upside, inflation is coming to, uh, higher, uh, there is uh, plenty of speculation that this year could uh, Bank of Japan finally looking to remove the yield curve control, if that would be the case then you know and the Bank of Japan after all will have to at some point fight the inflation then Japanese yen would come to the upside and CAT is on a back foot. Also you have crude oil keep moving lower, I think that crude oil could move much lower from here um, or maybe just will keep consolidating so that's also bearish for CAT. So uh, with all of these, these points I think that we are here potentially moving to this very nice resistance around 100. Um, it's also wave 4 which would equal to wave 2 in that area you have the 38.2% as well here. Um, so I think it's quite attractive zone for potential new turn to the downside, okay? So that's definitely one of the pairs that we should track whenever uh, this uh, yen strength will resume, which in my opinion it will, then uh, also yen crosses will be pulled lower and cat could suffer versus yen, of course. Traders, thank you very much for your attention. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon. Bye.